Hey, what's up everyone? It is Thais here. So I will be doing my natural hair product empty, showing you guys everything I have used of on my natural hair in the past couple of months. Yes, only a couple of months. I can't believe how much product I go through now since I went natural, especially with conditioners. They do not last at all. I was originally going to do this video at the end of the year in December, but I was like, I need to get this out now because by the time December comes, it'll just be too much products for an empties video. So I'm just going to show you guys my current empties. So I have all of my products here in this bag, so I'm going to be going through them one by one. So the first empty I have, so the first one I have right here. So this one is the Alake Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner. It is completely empty. So I discovered this deep conditioner earlier this year and it is so, so, so moisturizing, so amazing for my hair. So this is a black owned company. It is really moisturizing. If you're looking for a really, really moisture rich deep conditioner, I highly recommend this. This is my holy grail, definitely in my top three deep conditioner list. So I would definitely be purchasing this again over and over. This stuff is just that good. It is so good. So the second thing in my empties is the Mish Indulge Moisturizing Deep Conditioner. It's completely empty. So I did a review for this a couple of weeks ago and if you've seen that review you know how I feel about this deep conditioner it is so moisturizing this deep conditioner is definitely protein free it is super duper moisturizing slip moisture for days extremely bomb I love this deep conditioner this has definitely made it to my top three deep conditioner list and it has definitely become my holy grail the scent is so bomb it smells like candy Oh my goodness, so I would definitely be repurchasing this over and over again. I love it that much and I highly recommend this. I definitely have a coupon code if you guys are interested in giving this one a try. I highly recommend this for dry natural hair. So yeah, this is a black woman owned company too as well. Okay, put those over there. So, another empty I have is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Conditioner. This is completely empty right here. And this is the 19 ounce. I was so surprised I got this big bottle for only $10. So, this is a protein based conditioner, rinse out conditioner. And even though it is protein based, it gives me a lot of moisture and slip. But I use it more as a light protein, so I do feel a bit of strength when I use this conditioner. So I would say, mm, I don't know if I would repurchase this one. I feel like I'm more likely to repurchase the mask versus the rinse out conditioner again. Because I am I really don't use rinse out conditioners like that. I rarely use them, so I try not to buy too much of them because then they just build up. And yeah, so I'm iffy iffy if I will purchase it it's just one of those things you know you use you like mm, you don't really feel that big urge to run out there and buy it but it did work great for my hair so another empty I have is the vo5 strawberries and cream moisturizing conditioner oh my goodness guys I am just running out of so many conditioners conditioner does not last like I said, it, it doesn't last at all. So I have this. I use this as my detangler before I wash my hair. And I would definitely purchase this. I have been using this for years, actually. It just works so well to detangle the hair. It is silicone-free as well. And it only costs a dollar. So I don't want to use my expensive conditioners to detangle my hair before I wash it. You know what I mean? So it's just one of those products you just buy. So you don't use up your other conditioners or your good conditioners in your hair. So I would definitely repurchase this again. 
So right here I have the Obia Naturals Babasu Deep Conditioner. So this, oh man, what can I say? So this deep conditioner is so unique because it is fragrance free. A lot of natural hair products, you know, they have fragrance in them. But this one is fragrance free. And so it is perfect if you're not too fond on having scents in your product, if you make, if that makes sense. So this is a all natural handmade product. This is black woman owned. And I did buy this at one of the stores. I think it, yeah, I bought this at Walmart. I definitely will purchase this. So this deep conditioner is so bomb. It definitely moisturizes my hair. This deep conditioner is protein free so it is a moisturizing deep conditioner so i would definitely repurchase this deep conditioner again it just gives me so much moisture it makes my hair so so manageable so this is definitely on my list to repurchase what else do i have so i have the chocolate kinks and curls aloe colada deep conditioning treatment so this one is gone okay so if you've seen my chocolate kinks and curls review you know that me and this deep conditioner have a bittersweet relationship and i say that because it is it works so well it's so so moisturizing after i rinse this deep conditioner out but before i rinse this deep conditioner out my hair is not manageable at all like when I put it in my hair, my hair feels rough, stiff. I can't comb through my hair. So it's so bittersweet. And I don't know if I will repurchase this deep conditioner. I know I said I will repurchase it. But thinking about it after doing that video, I feel like I want my deep conditioners to perform with the product in and with the product out. I just need that all around experience with a deep conditioner. So... I don't know. I, I I don't think I would repurchase this. I, I don't know. I, I'm just on the fence. I'm just, it's just one of those products where I'm just debating because I feel like I have so many other great deep conditioner that gives me that all around experience like the Alake, the Obia, and the Mish deep conditioner. They definitely give me that great softness with the product in and with the product out. So this one is on the fence. It's sort of bittersweet like I said so another empty I have right here is the kinky tresses coconut mango hair butter this one is completely gone so this is a hair moisturizer so it does have water in it so it's not a sealant based butter this is more of a moisturizing hair butter it smells so amazing so this made my list last year of the top hair products I discovered in 2018 and I kept my word and it is still here in 2019 this stuff moisturizes my hair for days literally and I look for that when I use a moisturizer so this is definitely a repurchase over and over and over again. I love this stuff so much. So right here I have the 24 hour edge control. This one is completely empty. So I love this edge control. This was actually an edge control that was referred to me by one of you guys. Thank you so much for referring. This edge control is really popular. I noticed a lot of people use the 24-hour edge control and that is how good it is. This stuff definitely holds down my 4C edges. I don't really go for a really sleek look but if I wanted to go for a super sleek baby hair look I can definitely get that with this edge tamer. It is just so amazing. So I would definitely repurchase this edge tamer again. So I also have the African Pride Moisture Miracle Coconut and Bible Oil Leave-In Conditioner. So this one is another empty and this leave-in conditioner definitely performs well. It makes my hair very manageable, very easy to comb through. 
And this deep conditioner, I mean this leave-in cream or conditioner, this leave-in cream is very, very affordable. This is only like $5. In fact, it is under $5 if you go to Walmart. But every other place, I think, sells it for like $5. A little over $5. So it's around that price range. And I was very shocked on the performance when I used this leave-in conditioner. So it is definitely amazing to me it works so well i'm surprised by the price looking at the ingredient list like this stuff says water shea butter glycerin grapeseed oil coconut oil like what usually five dollar products don't really have great ingredients but this stuff has amazing ingredients and it performs so well so i would definitely be repurchasing this leave-in conditioner So the final hair product I have is the Natural Hydrating and Avocado Conditioner. So this is a Rinse Out Instant Conditioner from Natural. And I love this Rinse Out Conditioner. It makes my hair so manageable. This um, Rinse Out Conditioner is so perfect for days when I don't want to deep condition. And it does everything. This one is protein free as well. It is black owned as well. Um, this conditioner performs great, just know that. So I will definitely be repurchasing this conditioner. So that is it for all of my products. This empties was such a success, guys, compared to the last hair empties I did. I felt like I had a lot of bomb products in this round. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye.